we have entered into an agreement with the ACLU based on the federal lawsuit uh, to move to a cashless bond system uh, at 36th District Court for certain cases. It's a move that some have concerns about. To be candid, I actually support bond reform. I, where I have problems and concern is when we're talking about people who pose a threat to our community, someone who has been violent, someone who has attempted murder or murdered someone uh, being out on bond. I think that that is not the intent of bond reform. But William McConaughey, who serves as chief judge for the 36th District Court, makes this clear. Involved, there are more people who are on bond right now than in, in years in the past. Those people on bond are not committing crimes. Chief Judge McConaughey says that's because those who are charged with determining bond or no bond are following the law. Pre-trial detention is not to be used for punishment. Pre-trial detention is to be used to for the safety of the community and to ensure a person appears at court. As many courts initiate bond reform, some defendants say it's long overdue. I was charged with first degree murder. I was not given a bond or it was so high that I couldn't uh, uh, reach it. But after 21 years and three months of incarceration. And come to find out that I was actually innocent. I was exonerated in February of 2017. Now Lamar Munson makes advocating for bond reform his mission and supports other advocates. Part of the reason why we entered into this settlement is we saw that there were people that were uh, being incarcerated, awaiting low-level cases, traffic cases, losing their jobs, uh, having problems with child care. Chief Judge McConaughey says it's now time to focus on issues that will make a real difference in fighting crime. We need to focus in on the reason why people commit crime in the first place. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.